two for one fall. Introducing first, from the deepest, darkest corner of his mind, he is Rick Reed. And welcome everybody to Genesis exclusively on pay-per-view. We open tonight with the Black Rain Shop of Horrors no disqualification match. There you see Black Ray, the alter ego of one Dustin Rhodes. And yes, he's got Misty, the Arctic Fox, Misty the Rat in his hands. Well, you can see up there on the ramp, he went over to that, that black box that had a door on it. As you see him walking down the ramp with Misty, and one thing we can expect, Mike, and that's to expect the unexpected, and expect it to be brutal and vicious, and you can see the, the mouth traps and the device, and I mean, it's gonna be brutal. The workshop of Black Raindon has been set up here inside the Impact Zone here at Genesis for this one-on-one -on -one matchup. Let's take you back in recent weeks on Impact. Black Rain, yes, used the Rat Misty in his attacks on the Monster Abyss. There you see him putting the Rat in a bag over Abyss's head. And if that wasn't bad enough, he even put Misty, he ran it over Abyss's face when they fought back in the workshop. You can see Black Rain, of course, the alter ego of Justin Rhodes. He's ready to go. And his opponent stands 16 inches tall. He weighs 350 pounds. He is the monster, Hobbes! What we have seen over the course of the past several weeks, the brawls, the attacks between Black Rain and the Monster Abyss. It has just taken this level of violence, Don, beyond words. The things that they have Whoa! done in the workshop, and now we see that this matchup has started right out here in the impact zone as Black Rain jumped down, jump started this match, attacking the Monster Abyss on the entrance ramp. Well, it's a good game plan by Black Rain as he cuts Abyss off before he gets down the ramp and then slams him in the steel ring post and then leaps on him, but Abyss able to get his composure and sends him flying on the ramp. Took him up into the air and drove him right down down onto the concrete. Black Ray thought he was gonna get that upper hand, take it to the Monster Abyss, get the early edge, but Abyss was certainly prepared and ready for him, and there you finally hear the opening bell, and as Abyss comes in, look at this, on the receiving end of those shots from Black Ray. Well, one thing we know, it's no disqualification, and oh, nice move by Black Ray, dropping to the knees, throwing Abyss off and then cracking him, but what a boot by the Monster Abyss. But Mike, no disqualification, and we know that anything that's not nailed down is probably gonna get used. We saw that black stretch limo, Don, arrive here in Orlando, Florida. That has to be Sting's mystery partner, and that could be revealed at any minute tonight at Genesis as Black Rain crashes out to the concrete again. Well, the anticipation is just through the roof, and, and I know I can't even begin to tell you how many times you've been asked about it. It is gonna be revealed tonight, and Kurt Angle's gonna finally get his answer. Oh, oh what a shot to the head! He just broke that, that plaster board. Wow, right over the head, cracked it over the head of Black Rain. What a knockout blow delivered by the Monster Abyss here in the early going of this Black Rain Shop of Horrors match. That actually was invented by Black Rain as Abyss takes him and tosses him over the safety rail and into the crowd. Well, it's no secret that Abyss attracts these dark, twisted, psychotic kind of matches. And, and you can see, oh, Nice, knee to the gut, and yes, throws Black Rain right into the wall as he was ready for it. He countered it and sent him flying. Black Rain goes crashing right into the wall. The Monster Abyss measures him, waits for him to get back up to his feet, and as soon as he does, Abyss is ready and tosses him back over the safety rail. This is a no disqualification, anything goes match. And Don, when you take into account everything that we see out here, you talked about those rat traps. You can see the weapons in the trash can, the vice that's out here at ringside. And now it looks like that trash can is going to come into play. Well, you see chains, you see bats, you see crutches. I mean, you see signs. I mean, it is just, like I said, if it's not nailed down, it's gonna be used. And 
You think of the level of violence that can be brought on, and when you think about the twisted minds of both oh. these guys, as Black Rain just crushes Abyss. Abyss obviously has a strategy here. He's got a game plan. You see what he's done with those trash cans. He's got the two cans positioned on the entrance ramp. But when he did that, wait a minute, what is he doing? He's got that key. He's wearing the key around his neck, and he's trying to open that door. That door that we saw when he came down here, but Abyss cuts him off. One can only assume, Don, that that is the same key that we saw recently on Impact. Abyss had that key, tossed it back at Black Rain. Black Rain said, you made a mistake by giving me the key back. And I think Abyss made another mistake by setting up those trash cans as he just crashed back first after the Black Rain suplex on the ramp. Well, I think Abyss, when he realized that Black Rain had that key out, I think maybe something was going through his mind as he went and, and stop Black Rain from doing it, but like you said, Black Rain able to use it, and all the things that Abyss set up on the ramp all came back to haunt him. Back towards the six-sided ring as Black Rain sends the monster inside. The alter ego of Dustin Rhodes from the middle rope. What a clothesline. Just dropped Abyss. Not often that we see six foot eight, 350 pounds go down like that. Well, you've got to use the momentum. You've got to get the force. And you can see him. Now, what's he doing there? Is he biting him? Biting on him and throttling him. But, you know, to knock a guy that, that size down like that, you've got to use the ropes to your advantage and get that extra torque. And you can see now he's going back up again. To the well one more time. High risk, top rope. Abyss turns right around. He was prepared for Black Rain that time. Got him throttled, choke slam attempt, blocked with a series of elbows. Well, the old saying, what, fool me once, shame on me. And you can see right there as he catches him with that clothesline and just nails him. Dropped him with that clothesline. Both men in this six-sided ring in this Black Rain Shop of Horrors match as we see Black Rain come from out. Oh, look at that. Impactful move, delivered to the Monster Abyss. Follow cover, two count only. Man, it looked like he's busted the jaw of Abyss right there as he brought him right down on his head. And now you see Black Rain, he's feeling it. He's getting that momentum. The confidence is just growing with every second as he reaches and grabs the first thing he can find, and that's a steel chair. And he's got it in the ring, and now he's setting it up in the, in the corner. We had anticipated that these weapons would certainly come into play in this no disqualification match, and that's exactly what we see. The steel chair wedged between that top and middle rope. As Abyss turns around, Black Rain meets him, pair of right hands right to the jaw. Watch the reversal. Black Rain hits on the brakes, oh. went for the float over, and Abyss put it right through the upright. Oh, I just slammed his head straight through on the chair. I mean, Abyss with the boot right into the groin and then just grabs him and sends him flying head first. And look at Black Rain. Knocked out in the ring, and now what's Abyss going for? Looking underneath the ring, the Monster Abyss oh, comes no, out with the no. baseball bat wrapped in barbed wire. Oh. You know, you, you look at all these things that we see lying around, we don't even realize that the barbed wire bat he had placed there to use, and now Black Rain, the first thing he's going to see, if he even sees it at all, is barbed wire coming at him. Oh, oh man, what a shot. What a shot to the gut. Doubled him over at first, and then dropped Black Rain. Monster Abyss just challenging Black Rain to get back up to his feet because he's got that baseball bat, he's got the barbed wire bat for another shot, and smartly, wisely, Black Rain rolls out of the ring. Well, you can only take so many of those, and I mean, he had to get out of the ring because the barbed wire bat's a momentum changer, and you can see now Black Rain, I think, trying to, to get his the cobwebs out of his mind as he's walking up in Abyss, just going right after him. Doubled over Black Rain is. Abyss follows up the advantage, the clubbing blow, the big shot to the back. But then as he turns around, you see that Black Rain caught in perfectly placed knee right to the midsection. What a precarious position right here for the monster Abyss. Look at this. Got him up and a jump. Oh, oh my gosh. Holy cow. He just chokes landed him off the top of the stage, Mike. All the way down to the floor. Unbelievable. I mean, you see Black, we gotta see that again. Look at this, look how far he There's goes. There's the choke slam oh, all the way down. We've gotta take another look yet. Up, throttle, and down to the concrete. Just picked him up, and, and I mean, I don't even see how Black Ray can even attempt to get to his feet after a fall like that. 
think of the force from a six foot eight monster anyway. And then he went down another few feet, Mike, unbelievable. Slowly making his way back up to his feet is Black Ray. You can see that Abyss is ready for him. Takes him right by the back of the head. Tosses him right down the ramp and then follows up the advantage that he has. It's almost as if you could sense that level of confidence rising for the monster. Oh, he's got it all the momentum right now. I mean, after that shot that Black Ray took, I don't even know if he knows what state he's in. As you can see, oh, a smash right to the back of the neck. And now the monster abyss goes over. We saw that earlier. You see those rat traps in place. Look at this. There's got to be dozens of them, Don, on this board. Oh, my God. God, what is he going to do here as he's setting him into the ring? I don't know. I can see the shot of Misty, the rat, in the cage right there. Obviously, he's got something in mind. Keep your eyes on Black Rain, though. Black Rain still, still crawling around on his hands and knees. Look at this. He's opening up the vice mic. Black Rain has the kendo stick. Abyss going to try and gain a little bit of revenge here. Oh, look at this. He's putting his hands inside the vice. Think about this, Don. Think about, we saw Black Rain. We saw him put Abyss's head inside that vice. This is a retribution here for the monster Abyss. The fingers, both hands. Oh, he's just got it torqued tight. And you can hear the screaming right here. In front Mitchell, of him. Mitchell, James Mitchell. Oh, he's out here loosening it up. And while he's doing that, he's set the, the traps in the middle of the ring. And look, he's pointing to Misty the Rat. The man who manipulated. The monster of this, James Mitchell, lets Black Rain free, handed him something. He's got the rat. He's got me like he's going to spike Misty right into those rat traps. But James Mitchell came in and hit him right in the back. Wait oh, my minute. God. He just took the rat and stuffed it in James Mitchell's shirt. And look at him squirming around on the ground. I never thought I'd see him scared like that. But look at him, Mike. He's squirming and screaming. Can you blame him? Oh, oh man, the blackout! He hit him with the blackout and put him face first on right into those rat traps. And now he goes for the pin. Two, he got it now. Somehow Abyss, out of just a gut reaction, got the shoulder up with that backfire for the monster Abyss. Black Rain headed back outside the ring. Got that kendo stick that he brought, and now he has possession of it. Wow, can you imagine Don being put face first like that right into those dozens of rat traps? Well, he had grabbed Misty and was threatening to put him in there, and then it ends up being his own face that goes in it. You can see the arms where some of the... Oh, man! Crushed him on the top of the head with the kendo stick. Abyss still on his feet. Oh. A second shot to the top of the head. He's rocked up against the ropes, but he's not down. Just relentless. One shot after another, but look at it. Oh, he finally goes to his knees. What's he got? He's got the brass nuts. I believe that's what James Mitchell passed to him earlier and in this no disqualification match. It's legal. And now, go! Picks him up! Black Hole Slam! Black Hole Slam! Two, three! Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Monster Abyss! Very impressive, Don, when you can beat a man in his own specialty match. The Black Rain Shop of Horrors for the first time here in TNA tonight at Genesis. And the victory goes to the Monster Abyss after that black hole slam. Wow. I mean, think about this match. It had everything. Barbed wire bath, rat trap, vices, garbage can, chains. Now Abyss has grabbed that key from Black Rain, and Abyss has the key in his hands. And remember when Black Rain told him, you should have taken the key. Well, now Abyss has it, and now Abyss wants the reward that that key's gonna bring. I mean, I've been curious as well, Don, what the contents are. We saw that Black Rain had that key, tried to open up the box early. What does it say? Crimson blood? It says crimson blood on the box, and you see him opening it up. And uh, obviously our interest is peaked at the max. And wait a minute, what the hell? What on earth? I mean, who? Who, who is this? What is this? I believe he sprayed some kind of a mist in the face and the eyes, blinding the monster abyss. And then look at this as all out assault. This is onslaught by this demonic looking being that came out of the box and all abyss, don't fight him back. But now Black Rain comes in from behind and it's a numbers game. He's got that darkness ball weapon in his hands as well. And all oh, the curiosity, he should have let it pass. 
missed. He had to look. And this. Oh, no. Not, that, not, not the Darkness no. Falls weapon. No. Oh, that God. jagged edge driven right into the unprotected forehead of the monster abyss. Oh, man. Abyss is, is out cold on the ramp. And now you see Black Rain and this other creature picking up Abyss. And now they, it's, what's that? It's not the chain, it's sure. the key. And they're putting it in, they're putting him in the black box as he's just kicking him inside. The beat down on the monster abyss. Now taking him as Don mentioned, being put inside this box. They've got him locked inside the box. Now, no, now what, what the hell? What no, doing? come on. No, no. No way. No. no way. No. Oh my God. God. just happened here? The Monster Abyss scores the victory in the match, but afterwards, you talk about gaining revenge. Black Rain certainly did that. Oh. Never seen anything like no. that before.